thyroid and its impact on fertility. Now, if you are having a thyroid problem, and at the same time you are having multiple thoughts in your mind regarding what is thyroid why has doctor given you that morning pill of thyroid and what is the impact of thyroid on your fertility will you be able to get pregnant naturally so watch the video till the end because i am going to tell you everything about thyroid welcome to grace tv we are on a big mission for creating awareness about fertility and women health we are helping couples to become parents from all over the world with ethics love and joy hi i am dr rubina gynecologist and an ivf specialist and let's discuss thyroid today in a very simple and an understandable language i am going to tell you about thyroid and its impact on fertility let's find out what is thyroid gland now thyroid gland is the gland which sits in front of the neck the thyroid secretes hormone the thyroid hormone acts throughout the body which influences the metabolism of the body regulates the growth and development so the thyroid problem is the most common endocrine problem in the woman and this accounts for around 5 to 10% of the women of reproductive age group women are more prone to thyroid diseases 10 times more prone to thyroid problems than men now there are two types of thyroid problems number one which is very common is hypothyroid and we will be discussing more about hypothyroid these are those people whose thyroid gland is not functioning properly that means their demand for thyroid hormone in the body is more and the brain is secreting more tsh but the gland is not producing adequate hormone so that is why it is replaced from outside whereas the other type is hyperthyroid when tsh value comes out to be very low free t3 t4 is high but tsh value is low now let's find out how thyroid problem causes female infertility now thyroid hormone is deeply associated with female as well as with the male fertility it impacts the ovarian function by causing the anovulation probably and by causing inadequate lh surge means the signal from the brain is less so in that case it may lead to anovulation period problem that is hypomenorrhea and and oligomenorrhea now it also affects the quality of the egg so that is why these patients are more prone to miscarriages the value of tsh should be less than 5 milli international units per liter but when trying to get pregnant we try to maintain the tsh value less than 3 now a lot of time people come and ask us can i get pregnant if i'm having a thyroid issue the answer is yes if you are having a thyroid problem the thyroid issue should be under control and you should be taking regular medicine and then in that case there will be no problem in getting pregnant naturally the other commonly asked question is patient comes and ask us but once we have started the tablet we will have to take it for lifetime to some extent this statement is true but if the uh, but if you are having a very high value of tsh in that case you may have to continue the thyroid medicine for lifetime but that's for your own good but if it is between 2.5 to 6 we start the medicine for a transit period and in that case you don't need medicine for lifetime as only in that period of when you are trying to get pregnant we try to uh, maintain the value less than 3 and eventually during the pregnancy we first trimester we try to maintain less than 2.5 in order to prevent the miscarriage and also proper brain development of the baby and after about after delivery about 6 to 8 weeks we get the test done repeat and if the value is high you will have to continue the medicine otherwise you otherwise if the if the value comes out to be okay in the range and in that case you can discontinue the medicine 
Now, a lot of time patient ask us that uh, when can we repeat the test after our first thyroid value. The hypothalamo pituitary axis, the connection between the brain and the body takes time to stabilize 6 to 8 weeks. So, the moment you are diagnosed with a thyroid problem, you get your test repeated after about 6 to 8 weeks, not before than that. Now, let's find out how thyroid problem impacts the male, impacts male fertility. Now, thyroid also has a direct effect on the male fertility as thyroid hormone is required for the production of the sperms. Also, thyroid problem leads to reduction in the testosterone level which may cause reduction in the libido, reduction in the sexual interest or also causing the abnormal sperm parameters. Thyroid problems also increases the oxidative stress and free radical in the body. These are the chemicals which work against the sperms. So, in that case, there can be damage to the sperm, there can be reduced number count and also motility and also bad morphology of the sperm. So, that is why the thyroid hormone is tested as a part of the routine baseline investigation for all the couple coming to us attending the OPD for their preconceptional counseling or when they are trying to get pregnant. So, to know more about such information and to know more about fertility, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Grace TV. You can connect with us, you can call us, you can email us or for more information, you can log on to our website www dot graceivf dot com thank you